All right, so for your pinch pot, I want you to be able to use different tools to shape the inside and also help you to thin out your walls. I'm gonna be using a metal grip tool and a plastic one. So you can see the difference between the two. So this plastic one has a nice rounded edge. It's also a lot thicker. This metal one here is kind of sharp. I mean, I can rub my finger on it. I'm not gonna cut myself, but this one does tend to take clay off and look, you know, a little bit easier, but that could be a bad thing too. So on the inside here, I want a little help thinning my walls. I know you can't see everything on the inside, but what I'm using is this bottom rounded part. The inside is gonna stay rounded. So it is a good thing that you have a nice rounded edge here. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling clay from the bottom towards the top. And when I pull it towards the top, I'm just resting it along the edge there because I'm making it taller. Now, when I do this, I can no longer feel the bottom of my cup, right? I'm not using my fingers at the bottom of the cup. So this is where you have to be real careful and know how thick your bottom is. How do we know how thick your bottom is? Well, if you were to measure based on how far your hand sits inside of your cup, that's one way. So right now I have my hand touching the very bottom of my cup. It is gonna go, this is how deep my cup is right now. If I move my hand to the outer edge, I can see how far my finger is from the very bottom of my cup. It's one fourth of an inch. If you don't understand what I just said, it's easier for me to show you. I'll come around and help you. We have other tools that we can use to help us with that. Let me borrow this needle tool real quick. This needle tool right here is another tool that you can use to help you measure. When I use this tool today, I'm gonna to be poking a hole in my cup. I have to make sure that I fill that hole in, but here's how you can use it. I'm gonna take my finger along that needle tool and I'm actually gonna push through the bottom of my cup. Again, this is another way to measure the bottom of your cup. So I'm gonna push my needle tool into the bottom and I am I have my finger at the very bottom of my cup and I know that my needle tool has gone all the way through so when I pull my finger out I have an exact measurement of how thick my bottom is do you guys see it sorry I know it's tiny so it is a little bit more than a fourth of an inch that is an excellent measurement. I do not need to pull any more clay from the very bottom of my cup. Where is the bulk of my clay right now? It's along these edges, right in here, okay? On the inside, that's what I'm actually using my rib tool to help thin out. I am not gonna use my rib tool on the very bottom. Does that make sense? Okay. So I'm gonna use my rib tool. I'm gonna fill in that little hole I just made by rubbing my thumb over it. And now I'm gonna be taking the rest of that clay that's along that bottom edge and I am just dragging it towards the top. There are certainly ceramic artists that would just take that clay and they would set it aside. I wanna use it to continue making my cup taller. My clay is still nice and soft. There's nothing wrong with it. So each time I'm pulling that clay from the side, I'm not pulling from the bottom, and I am just pulling it, kind of building it up on the top lip of my cup. It does help to continuously kind of go around as you're working on those walls. Again, remember one of the biggest things you need to do when you are thinning walls is support your walls with your opposite hand. So what I'm using is just that plastic rib tool 
and I'm setting that extra clay right on top. Now I'm gonna show you using the metal tool. Here's what I like about the metal rib tool. It is sharp, it does grab a lot more, but it's also way more flexible. I could easily be putting gouges in my clay, and I am. If you were able to see into the bottom, you would be able to see there's little marks in there. I can smooth those out later. That's the downside of the metal rib tool when you're working on the inside. You don't necessarily want to see a bunch of marks in there, but we can always smooth it out. When I was using my plastic rib tool, it was not creating as many gouges. So it's good to know the difference and it really does kind of pay off knowing and understanding the tools that you're using. All right, so I'm going around and I am always looking down inside my cup as I'm working. If you are working and you're looking at your cup on an angle like this, you cannot see inside. If you cannot see inside, that's where you begin to make problems where you accidentally take out more than you need and then you end up restarting. So you don't want to start over again. So you want to try to make sure you're watching what you're doing. If you're pulling off clay and you're looking inside there and it's looking like you are taking off too much, then you need to stop and kind of reevaluate what you're doing. Okay, after doing all of that, I'm just gonna take my hands inside and I'm just gonna smooth out any of those details, um, specifically those areas along the rim where I put that extra clay. I'm just smoothing it out with my hands and that is your next step. Hopefully that all makes sense for you.